Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV and the latest edition of the LFC Extra Time Show. The show that brings you all the extra Liverpool news that you might have missed throughout the week, including all the things on social media, how the under-23s are getting on, the under-18s, the transfer targets and even the players on loan as well. We start this week with um, some brilliant news about Rigobert's song. Obviously the whole of football was coming together and sending out tweets and things like that. Today, Tuesday, he's pulled through from a stroke after a two-day coma, and it, it's brilliant news. Um, a bit of a like a Premier League kind of. He's like a cult hero, really. The guy looks like a lion, and he's just what a guy. He played in a Cameroon team that won the African Cup of Nations. He, he, pff, what can you say about him? But, but when things happen in football. You've got the likes of Robbie Fowler and Jamie Carragher tweeting out, uh, wishing all the best. I work with people who have strokes every single day. It can affect your life so much, whether it's, it's your lack of, of speech or the, the lack of movement on one side of your body. And it's not just you who it affects, it's, it's the people around you. So all our thoughts here and, and are all the thoughts of the club are with him and his family and we wish them the best the best of luck and a speedy recovery. Hopefully it, go, it goes well. A little review of last week. Um, the South Africans were getting involved with the show. Uh, there was Germans. Um, the guy who said, fucking Englishman, clinks, Seuss und Gott, he posed. I said I didn't want to know what it means. Uh, it means, fucking Englishman, that sounds like an old rusty cunt. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't speak South African though, so you're fucking prone. That's as far as I get, you fucking prawns. The Scouse African, you could call me, who knows. Good news for Ovi Ajaria. He has played for the Nigerian under 20s or under 18s. He's recently had the call up for the England under 20s and, and he's, t he's took it. So up until he plays a senior cap for the actual team, he, he, he can kind of, not pick and choose, but it, it, it's one or the other. And it's a bit, I think it's a bit of a risk Especially at such a young age, I mean, the media, it hounds English play players. And it always has, always has done, always will do. I remember watching Wayne Rooney back in, like, the under-20s, and he was smashing goals in. Being English, it, co it comes with a pressure. Playing for the England national team certainly does. The likes of John Stone, John Stones and Raheem Sterling, they go for huge price tags because they're English, because the top clubs are looking to fill, fill their English quota. Jordan Henderson come to Liverpool with this... He always the under-21 captain. It, it, it brings a certain amount of prestige. And fair play to the lad. He, he's took this risk now. He could have went and ha happily played for the Nigerian national team. He could have been the next buddy, JJ Okocha. So good they named him twice. Could have been Kinu. He said, I'll, I'll try and mix it with the English lads. You know, fair play to the lad. And he, he's playing. Ha he's looking happy. You, 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 see this, uh, you see this tweet here, good vibes. Nothing better than seeing a smile on a footballer's face. It made Ronaldinho the man who he is. Um, and I love his little afro as well. It just, it's the Richard Pryor kind of thing. When, you, when the whole Premier League, it, it, it's fucking top knots, or the dying the hair, blonde o all over the continent. Messi, Ramsey, Fellaini, Neymar. You've, have you not got enough attention? There's like millions of people watching you around the world. Oh, you know what? I'm going to dye my hair and grow a ponytail. Uh, maybe I'm jealous, maybe I'm jealous because I've got a stupid little Lego head, who knows. Maybe the League Cup is going to be the only time that the likes of these guys get to play. Um, and will Klopp put him in against Spurs? That's who we've got next. We know he, he, he takes the Cups very seriously. Um, he hasn't been around when Arsene Wenger was playing like 12-year-olds in the League Cup for 10 years. He wants to win, so, you know, fair play to this lad and good luck to him with his England career, if that's how he wants to go. Because we're not like the Welsh. The Welsh will play a 15-year-old just in the senior team just so England can't get him. Imagine what we'd be like with Wee Joe, Wee Joe and Gareth Bale. I don't know, maybe a bit better. And Shay Ojo got injured. Um, he posted on Twitter, a setback is a setup for a comeback. Uh, mentality is key. Uh, that's what we like to see. Um, Lucas has been injured. A lot of players get injured and, and a lot of it is mentality. He's in the gym. He's working hard. Good luck to the lad and we want to see him back quickly. Moving on, it was Bobby Firmino's birthday. Um, he's tweeted a little thing of all his birthday cakes. I'm not going to have a go at him on his birthday, but maybe, Rob, if you, you laid off a few of the cakes, you wouldn't be such a little podge, would you? But um, you need that. You need the strength in the Prem. Put a bit... Not on me, not a stitch on me, more meat on a butcher's pencil. Another thing about Firmino, why does everyone call him Firmino? It's Firmino. 
It's like Gary Neville, Firmino, Firmino. There's no, there's no H in there. Um, so if everyone could like make a conscious effort to get Firmino's name right in future, and I'm talking to like Gary Neville directly here, um, that would be good. I'm not saying I don't get names wrong. I called Wine Album Widgie Loom for about a year and a half until he signed for us. So that's um, that's that. Um, good news, or, or, or just respectful news, really. John Aldridge, he tweeted a thing about um, Derry, Stiddy and Straban. Um, they have passed a motion asking local news, news agents to stop selling the scum newspaper. Um, don't really want to go on about this too much. Everyone in Liverpool knows how much we hate the sun. Gang of assholes, really. Um, but yeah, total respect to, to their council. And hopefully we can get that going around the whole of Ireland and the whole of England and we can all just be mates and unite in hating the scum. Every person around here has some kind of Irish heritage and we've got a lot of fans over there. Obviously we've got some in South Africa as well and Germany. We're all mates. We all love Liverpool so you know, people showing respect like that all around the world. Moving on to the under 23s now. Um, you might have seen a clip earlier in the week of me with my orange coat looking like a rubber dinghy. I checked the young lads out. Um, Sacco played his first game. Unfortunately, we, we lost 2 1. But yet again, Brooks Lennon, he comes on, he gets a goal. The American, he's doing well. He, he's done a runner from Donald Trump. He, he doesn't want to stick around for him and bloody Ted Sandwich. Clinton, he's over here, he's making a name for himself, he's, get, he's getting the goals in there. The week, um, the week just gone, Sacco starts again, and Danny Ings, Danny, Danny Ings, he's on fire. Bounce back ability the team's got, Danny Ings goes and smashes a hat-trick in, that's how you do it Sacco. You, you don't complain on Snapchat, you go and do your talking on the pitch, and Danny Ings, he's knocking on Klopp's door, and yet you see him here on his Instagram, taking a little bit of time out for the fans, and that's, uh, you'd expect that, don't you? You want um, you want these footballers, the millionaires really, it takes nothing to, to spend 10 seconds with a fan, so I, I like that, I like to see that with Danny Ings. Um, and, and Sacco, maybe Sacco's plan has worked, he wasn't playing, he has moaned, he's got in, does he still have a chance at the club? I don't know, I, I bashed him a bit last week, but just because you act like a dickhead doesn't mean you are forever a dickhead. He, he's done something stupid one night, he's back playing again. The under 18s are doing just as well. Um, they beat Newcastle 3-1 away from home. Um, goals coming from McCauley, um, Connor Matterson, a centre back, and Tony Gomez, who's been playing really well. He played for the under 23s the other night. The game itself was all about Jan Dande. The man, look at this picture of him here on a, on a quad bike in the background. I don't know, he's probably burnt an oil field and laid waste to a village or something. He's looking like a bad man here on a quad. But he got three assists. Is he the new Iniesta? I'm not saying he's better than Iniesta, but keep your eye out for uh, Jan Dande. Three assists, good going. Onto the loans, smooth as you like. See how I segued that in there? You know, it's all all printed off and written down. Um, Danny Ward, Danny Ward, he, they're playing well. Two wins for Danny Ward. Um, he tweeted saying, well done, the boyos. Back to the top we go. Uh, great noise in there tonight. And then the next week wasn't pretty, but a clean sheet and an international break on top. Lovely stuff. So it's nice to see the guy. He's, get, he's, getting, he's getting minutes. And I, I don't know, I think with Karius, um, we, we've got a picture of Karius here, he's playing himself on um, on Twitter. He's, he's clearly thinking he's in ahead of Mignolet when he does that. So maybe if Mignolet is to look on later on in his career, Danny Ward's the guy that comes in as backup. Moving on, Ryan Fulton, um, he... He got 90 minutes in a draw, a 3-3 draw against Chelsea, uh, Chesterfield, um, and he, he played 90 minutes in a 1-0 loss. Adam Bogdan, again, he just had a last-minute winner from Will Griggs on fire, um, and a 0-0 draw. Brian Kent, it is nice to see him playing, by the way. He, he's starting to show the, the, the skills he's got, really. Ran himself into the ground in a 2-1 loss to Leeds, was taken off at 80-odd minutes, and then had a one-all draw with Aston Villa. He smashed the bar, he shows some skill, it's like a 30-yard shot. If Coutinho does this, I don't know, we're, we're, we're raving saying, oh, he's unlucky, he's unlucky. Ryan Kent tweets out, patience is the key. Clearly showing a bit of frustration there, but mate, if you're making the chances, it's better than not getting your shot off or, or it getting blocked, so, so good on him. Um, Jack Dunn, 
Jack Dunn's, um, he's playing, came on for 25 minutes to try and salvage a draw, uh, where they were beaten 2-1, I think it was. I'm not too sure here. There was a two-all draw against Barnett, and he's put on at um, 66 minutes to try and get something. It, he is, there's no one you want to want to see do more that, than this lad. He, he's, he's put on his own Instagram, just a scouse lad chasing the dream. That's all he is. He, he's staying humble. He's just living the dream that we all wanted when we were all 18. Can we get signed by Liverpool? Can we get into the first team? And, and you know what? Best of luck to him. John Flanagan was on the bench when um, Arsenal robbed Burnley. And it was a robbery. And you know what? I'd phone the police on Arsene Wenger for that. There's three reasons why that goal shouldn't have went in. It was offside, it was handball, and they'd played stoppage time. If John Flanagan's on, that doesn't happen. That's all I'm... Is that a bold claim? No, because he's scouts as you like, and he'd clear that. He'd, he'd know the runners were in behind him. Sam Hart, he's finally got some minutes. I've been bashing him, saying I've played as much as Sam Hart for Port Vale. He's finally got some minutes in there. And... He's even got a Man of the Match award. We've got a little tweet from him here. Um, he made his debut and he says, Amazing night for me tonight, getting the first league start. Lads were class. Another one at home, fan were class. Then the next game, very disappointing and poor performance. Time to build and move forward. Thanks to the fans for voting me Man of the Match. And he's got a bottle of Prosecco. Oh, look at me. Bottle of Prosecco. Aren't you a little prin? Aren't you a little prin? Get a pint of Guinness down, you lad. Um... Yeah, but you know what? He's playing. He's been booked twice, which is uh, not all that good. But you know what? Shows he's willing to put a foot in. Shows he's willing to get stuck in. Um, Taiwo Awoni, um, I can't say his name. I'll never be able to. Um, taken off at the hour mark um, in a game where they won 1-0 against Roda. So he's playing as well. Andre Wisdom, good news for him. He's back on the bench. He suffered an injury, of course. Um didn't get on, but, you know, he's there or, or thereabouts. And it's great news for Lazar Markovic, the man, the myth, the legend. He finally got a goal. Um, wasn't so much, he didn't, he didn't make the goal, nothing. Um, but he showed poacher's instinct. Shot comes in from 25 yards, keeper spills it. He's running in, taps it in. But you've got to be there. Got the goal. Sebastian Coates or Coatsy, as I like to call him, he got a goal as well. Just a little bit of Liverpool knowledge there. But, yeah, do you know what? Um... Markovic, that's what he's got to start doing. He's got to start getting the goals if he wants to play for this Liverpool team because three years' time, can you see him doing that? I don't know. Um, I'd, I'd like to see like Ojo, Origi and Mane. That would be my front three, really. And the transfer watch, it's Christian Pulisic, the American, um, 18 years old. He was on the Golden Boy shortlist with Gruwich and um, a few others. Come on against Real Madrid last week. Um, they snatched the draw late on. Um, just, you know what? Look at this experience. He's 18 years old, playing against Cristiano Ronaldo, Sergio Ramos. He come on. He played against Leverkusen, where they lost 2-0. He was subbed at half time. Didn't do a lot. Uh, he was playing on the right wing, kind of ahead of Goatsy or Gotzi. The men who stare at Gotzi, I don't know. Um, yeah, could have, could have done better to stop a cross. They're putting him on the front post for a corner. Just, I don't know, maybe it's because he can't, hasn't got that re responsibility yet as a young lad. And, um, yeah, taking off a half time. To round off, we will round off with the Dahoud pun of the week. Uh, we, we st I don't know why we're doing it, but um, a lot of guys really took to this Dahoud pun thing. Um, it's a toss-up, really, between Phil Bourne, who said... Thought you were bang. I didn't put him in there because I got a bit of credit. Thought you were bang on, but he said, "Hey, the hood, don't be afraid." Yeah, I'll stop there. Uh, best I could do off the top of my head. I like that. That's not too bad. But then David Walsh comes in, brings you right back down to earth, doesn't he? The hood, the fuck's this? Um, thanks, David. <laughs> Lewis Calvert, don't worry about it. Um, straight in with another one. Bring back boys in the hood. Paul and Chris. I'll give you that one as well. That's two for one. Top marks to him. Um, yeah, so that's good news. We'll do the mystery transfer watch again. Um, we've got a lot of content coming up in the week. International Roundup, I'll be doing a big thing about that. It's Klopp's anniversary, of course. And that, that that's all for today's show. I didn't clap as much, uh, which is another criticism. I'm not saying I take all the criticism to heart. Water off a duck's back, but I shouldn't be clapping and I know that. Um, yeah, International Roundup, Klopp's anniversary. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next week. Thank you very much.